Today's lesson video is based on L Hospital. We are going to look at lesson 102. This is calculus. Let us start. Our first example says the limit of x approaches 1. Whereby we have sine pi x over e to the power x minus 1 minus 1. If we substitute 1 where we see x, we are going to find a form like this 0 is to 0 which is indeterminate then in this case if the substitution doesn't work we need to apply L hospital rule now L hospital rule based on lesson 101 it's where we explain this and how to use it so this lesson we are just going to apply it now applying this rule we are going to differentiate the numerator and the denominator the numerator, the derivative of sine is cos multiplied by the derivative of this, we are going to have pi. All over the derivative of e to the power x minus 1, it's e to the power x minus 1, multiplied by the derivative of this which will get 1. Since the derivative of x is 1, the derivative of negative 1 is 0. And then the derivative of this is simply 0. So we have something like this. Now we can go ahead and try to substitute and see what happens. Before substitution, we, we need to simplify this simply going to take this constant we put it here all over let us go ahead and substitute we have pi cos pi 1 all over e to the power 1 minus 1 and then we know that any term actually let me simplify this then this will be e to the power 0 and then from here this is the same as negative 1 so we're going to have pi negative 1 all over 1 and then our final answer is simply negative pi Our second example, we can also see that when we substitute uh, 0 on the numerator and denominator, where we see x, we are going to have the form of this. So we can apply L hospital rule. Now, to find the derivative of the numerator, the derivative of sine x is cos x all over the derivative of the denominator we can see that we have two functions so we can use product rule the derivative of cos is negative sine x and then we leave out the second function plus the derivative we actually rewrite the first function and then we find the derivative of the second function which is 2x plus 3 and then from here when we simplify we have something like this We can go ahead and substitute and see what happens. So we have cos 0 
or over negative sine zero we have zero squared plus three zero plus cos zero then we substitute also on two zero plus three so simplifying this we know that cos zero is equals to one all over we actually shouldn't supposed to do that step but we can quickly put back this negative here so we have negative sign zero which is zero multiplied by everything here will be zero also plus cos zero it's equals to one and then zero multiplied by two it's a zero so inside the last bracket we have zero plus three and then we can see that we have one zero plus this multiplied by zero it's zero multiplied by three it's three so our final answer is one over three we're done with this question we can go to the next one limit as x approaches zero our function is 3x plus 1 over x minus 1 over sine x and then the first thing that you need to do we need to simplify this we know that the LCD will be x sine x so we look at the first term which has x as our denominator when we divide our denominator onto the LCD we can see that this will get rid of this and then this sign multiplied by this numerator we are going to have sin x multiplied by 3x plus 1 then since we have negative as our middle sign we are going to put this here and then we take our next denominator which is this one we repeat the very same step this will get rid of this and then this will multiply by this that is actually how we can simplify the difference of two terms involving fractions so we are going to have x so we do agree that limit x approaches zero we are going to have sin x 3x plus 1 minus x all over sin x let us actually say x multiplied by sin x from here we can go ahead and distribute here so we are going to have limit as it approaches x approaches 0 we are going to have 3x sin x plus sin x minus x all over x sin x then in this case we can go ahead and find the derivative of the numerator and the denominator now the first function we can see that actually the first term on the numerator we can see that we have two functions which is 3x and sin x so we can go ahead and apply uh, product rule so we are going to derive the first term which is 3 and then we leave out the second term plus we rewrite the first term we find the derivative of the second term which would be cos x and then 
the derivative of sine x will be positive cos x. The derivative of negative x is negative 1 all over. We can also apply product rule again. So the derivative of x is 1. So we have sine x. We should have 1 sine x plus x derivative of sine is cos x. And then from here we can go ahead and substitute and see whether we cannot get our limit. So we have 3 sine 0 plus 3 0 cos 0 plus cos 0 minus 1 all over sine 0 plus 0 cos 0. We can see that 3 sine 0 will be equals to 0 and then we have 3 multiplied by 0 which is 0 multiplied by cos 0 which is 0 also and then cos 0 it's 1 minus 1 it's 0 so we do agree that on the numerator we have 0 over sine 0 is 0 plus cos 0 multiplied by 0 is 0. So we can see that we still have indeterminate functions. So we need to apply uh, L hospital rule again. We are going to apply it here. To apply it again. So we have two functions again here, which is 3 and sine x. So we start by deriving 3. We are going to have 0. The derivative of a constant is 0. Sine x plus 3 derivative of sine. We are going to have cos. From there we have another two functions here. So it's plus the derivative of 3x is 3 cos x plus 3x derivative of cos is negative sine x. And then plus derivative of cos x is negative sine x then the derivative of negative 1 is simply 0 all over derivative of sine is cos x plus we have two functions again so we are going to find the derivative of x which is 1 1 multiplied by cos x plus derivative of cos is negative sine So we can quickly simplify this. You can see that this term will be equal to 0. So we have 3 cos x plus 3 cos x. And then this will be negative 3 x sin x minus sin x all over cos x plus cos x and then we have negative x sine x we can go ahead and substitute and see what happens so we have 3 cos 0 plus 3 cos 0 minus 3 0 sine 0 minus sine 0 all over cos 0 plus cos 0 minus 0 sine 0 3 multiplied by cos 0 is equal to 3 uh, 3 multiplied by cos 0 we have Uh, 
and then this will be zero this will also be zero and then cos zero is equal to one plus cos zero is equal to one and then this will be zero so we have six over two then six over two is equal to three That's it for this lesson video. This is Bahula SJ. Thank you very much.